morning, and welcome to the Shacken First Monday Morning Minute. I'm Dr. Jared Shacken. Today I'm going to be placing a mini dental implant at tooth number 12. Um, I extracted this tooth a couple months ago, and we gave it about three months to heal. And uh, we're going to place a mini there because it seems like the bone is dense enough in the distal part near number 13 where I'm going to be able to get some nice bone and place a nice solid implant here. I'm going to use a 2513 because from where the gum tissue to the bone ends, it's about 15 millimeters. I'm going to give myself a little bit of a, a buffer till it gets the sinus here. Yeah, I'm going to place a little more distally towards 13 because that seems to be where the densest bone is. This is going to be very important in terms of tactile sensation because that extraction site still has a little bit of bone to fill in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the pilot drill in until I feel the solid bone. So I, I haven't even started the motor yet. I'm just having that tactile feel of solid bone. I'm going to, I'm going to angle it a little more towards the pallet because that is where you get kind of the densest bone in this situation is palatal. So I'm kind of, my dad calls it pecking, pecking around, finding the bone. Um, and I left the pilot drill in there to show you guys the angle where I did the pilot drill. It's a, a little distal palatal to, closer to number 13 because like I said, that's where the bone seems to heal the, have healed the best in the last couple months. You could also take a CT at this point to, make sure you're at the right angle and you could just do it with the pilot drill. That's a pretty safe way to do it. I'm pretty sure I'll be okay though. So I'm gonna just place that implant right away. And there's gonna be a beep at 30 and 60. And if there's not a beep at 30 and 60, but it still feels solid, I'll show you how I can test that. If I still feel like it's a nice solid implant, I'll still be able to load that and we'll just give it a little longer time to heal. Um, let that bone heal around the implant. I'm going to take that pilot drilled out. And what I do with the implant is I push it down till I'm in the bone. As you see, there's going to be a little bit of the thread still out of complete bone, but if we can get at least 75% of these threads into bone, we should be in a good spot. Let me get this out. I'm sorry, I need the oh, light. Feel like that to make sure you don't perforate anything. You can tell it's right inside of that bone. I'm gonna hand wrench it. And that feels really nice and solid. Sometimes it doesn't beep. I think there might have been a little bit of a strip inside of the um, CAD. You gotta make sure. That's not happening, but it does feel nice and solid when I tightened it with my hand. And then also I like to even just tighten it with my fingers and that gives me like another tactile feel of how tight that implant is. You know, if you can't move it with your fingers, that indicates that it's pretty solid and in bone. I'm able to move it a turn or two. I'm able to hand torque about 30 Newton centimeters. I did it at a midwinter meeting to test it. I got a pretty strong finger there. Um, all right, but there's your implant right there. And we will take a CT and then I'll show you guys the final result. There's still some bone filling in around, but I was able to catch some of that, that area 
mesial to tooth number 13 and get it in some good bone here. And that 13 millimeters was the right mark, right at the, at the dip of the sinus there. And we're just gonna have to give that a little bit of time to heal so that bone can all fill in around the implant there. So use a shack and first healing cap here. And then we put a temporary on using rope composite. You can also take a preliminary impression, do a wax up however you want. I just feel like when I make my own temporaries this way, I can make sure it's completely out of occlusion without any interference here. And, and it's a temporary, so you don't know, need to make it look like a movie star, but at least make it functional. Bite down for me, turn towards me. All right, that is out of occlusion. I'm going to get a plastic. You know, at the last course, a lot of people were asking, do I always put my patients on antibiotics after uh, implants? And the answer is yes. I think anytime you put a foreign substance in the mouth, you should put an antibiotic on. All right, now cure that. Yeah, that's good. All right, bite down, Richard. Yeah, it's far out of occlusion. We don't want that being bit on for at least a month. Okay, Richard, we will see you in two weeks to check on that implant, okay? Okay, sounds good. Thanks a lot. Everybody. All right, you're welcome. You did great. Right. Thanks for letting us uh, oh, teach. Join us on June 7th to celebrate a major milestone, Dr. Todd Shacken's 60th birthday party. We're hosting a backyard barbecue and a pool party at his home, and you're invited. The day kicks off with continuing education, so come learn, connect, and grow. Then stay for the food, friends, and fun as we honor Dr. Shacken's incredible legacy. It's a celebration you won't want to miss and a memory we'll make together. RSVP today, and we look forward to seeing you there. <laughs>